fear your guilt, and this is the feeling that you feel that triggers your grief. So at least we're somewhere, we're at least identifying something at this point. So what else can we add to that? Um, I felt really abandoned by my parents. And okay, and now you're starting to get mm. closer to what the causal emotion is about, right? I want to connect with my children a lot of the times because I actually feel abandoned by my own parents and I don't want to feel that feeling. And that's the real grief that I need to feel. Does that make sense? And that's more than likely the real emotion we could fit in here. Grief about how your life was and how your life was when you were a child trying to connect to parents that they didn't want you and so forth, right? That's the grieving emotion that you need to allow yourself to feel. Ironically, when you feel that emotion, you will automatically feel more connected to your own children. And they, by the way, automatically more connected with you. And you'll actually find that they'll contact you just as much as you contact them then. It'll be more of a relationship rather than just the mothering thing mm. going on. Does that make sense? Once you work through the causal emotion, which is related to the grief, so it's still grief, right? But it's not about your children. It's about mm. you as a child with your parent. That's what it's really about. Right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now, on the guilt side, what do you think that one might be? Um, so the feeling inside of you is, I'm not a good mum. Well, I'm not giving enough. Like, the only way my mother had an identity was to give to her children. Um, she didn't work or have a good relationship with my father. Or what happens if you don't give to somebody? Well, it's like, you know, I think I said a few months ago that I wanted to stop counselling because I... There was some burned out feelings. I feel I need my soul needs a rest. Yeah. And even not helping the kitchen today, I felt, oh, Lorleen's going to hate me. You know, I'm not helping her. And whereas I, you know, so. So, what do you think you're going to lose if you don't give? Um, love and support and. Okay, so really, underneath all of this guilt, is a lot acceptance. of grief about. So a lot of grief again about. About love. What is connotated by the word yeah. love, isn't it? I don't feel I'll get love if I don't give. <coughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so guilt is your way of getting out of that emotion. You see, when I, I construct guilt, because really I feel like nobody's going to love me unless I do exactly what they want, right? And I don't want to grieve that. I don't want to grieve the fact that nobody loves me. Mm. Nobody loves me. You, you stop doing what everyone around you wants and you see how many people are happy with you. Like, trust me, you try this as an experiment. Stop doing what everyone around you wants and just feel your emotions about what they project at you. And you're going to get lots of anger, rage, judgment. You'll get all sorts of emotions, right? They're the emotions you're avoiding. And the way to avoid them is to tell yourself that you're the person who's wrong. That's what guilt is. You're now the not a good mum. You're the person who's wrong. I'm sorry, but you're not the person who's wrong. All you need to do is grieve the false belief you have within you that love earns love. And that's a false belief, right? That needs to be grieved. But often what we do is that is so painful. When, when we come face to face with that, we realise that actually most of us have never been loved all of our life. In our child life, never been loved. Right? And so what we finish up doing is we don't want to feel how much that hurts. Mm. Right? So what we do instead is we tell ourselves that, we're bad. that it was my mm. fault that I wasn't loved. You get that? See, if it becomes my fault that it's not loved, then I don't, then I don't have... I'm punishing myself now, remember? I'm punishing myself now rather than grieving about what happened. Now, punishment of self is just as bad as punishment of someone else. Can you see that? If I'm angry with myself, that is just as bad a place as if I'm angry with someone else. From God's perspective, I am angry with somebody, <laughs> whether it's myself or someone else, is really immaterial. You follow me? So the guilt allows you to get away with being upset with yourself and angry with yourself, right? 
rather than just grieving the fact that you haven't been loved yourself. Now, when you release that, the guilt, like what defines a good mum, what defines a good dad, what defines a good sister, what defines a good brother, what defines a good husband, what defines a good wife, what defines a good child, all of that starts disappearing and you just be yourself instead. And if part of being yourself is I desire to have a relationship with my daughters, you will desire it and it will be constructed. But it won't be constructed out of guilt. It'll be constructed because you now have grieved the love within that, that you've lost and you'll now be in a space where you can love rather than earn love. Mm -hmm. and at the moment, a lot of your life has been defined around earning it mm -hmm. rather than being it. And there's a big difference between those two states. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for many of you, by the way, many of you have been exactly the same. You've had to earn every scrap of love you've ever gotten. For many of us, that's the case, right? We've earned every single scrap of love that we've received. And so what does that teach us? It teaches us that there's no such thing as a gift of love. And until I get, give something to someone else, I'm never going to be loved. That's what it teaches us. And we go into spaces of guilt in order to avoid the pain of that emotion because it's a, a very painful emotion. Mm. Yeah. Yeah,